I'm gonna show you guys uh, our family recipe for beef pot pie. I love it this time of year. Um, I'm just coarsely chopping some parsnips. I've got some carrots, onion, celery working over here. I'm browning up about two and a half to three pounds of beef chuck. Okay, now we're gonna add a little extra oil or butter or both. I like a combo of oil and butter for the veggies because we're going to use this as also the base for our gravy. So we're gonna add flour to that later to make, you know, to make the sauce thicken. Everybody goes into the hot tub. And then I'm gonna put a lid on it to kind of force that along a little bit. So we move on down here. This is for our crust. We have two cups of AP flour in our food processor. To that, we're going to add salt and white pepper. Uh, we're going to add our butter, which I throw in the freezer, and then I cube up the stick of butter. And we're gonna get this going before we stream in the water. Then we're going to, come on buddy. Then we're gonna add just enough water to get this to start to come together. So when it just starts to pull away from the sides and form a blob, you're just about there. Now I'm gonna take this off and throw in a cup of super sharp cheddar. I know, it tastes, tastes like a giant cheddar biscuit on your, on your pie, it's delicious, it's so good. Okay. Sprinkle a little flour on the counter, right? Put it into a ball, throw it in the fridge. Oh, I forgot my nutmeg. I put a little bit of nutmeg in this too. Delicious in the crust. So then you're gonna throw it in the fridge for half an hour and then you're gonna roll it out like this guy here. Let me explain a couple more things about our stew. I forgot to throw our little herb bundle in. Sage and parsley and a bay leaf. That's gonna go into our mix, right? And this is gonna go in the oven for a couple hours and braise until the meat's tender. Then we're going to, uh, when we are making our pie, we're gonna take it back out of the oven and add apples because our liquids are gonna include apple cider. So you're gonna have sweet and savory and salty all together underneath a cheddar crust. It is a perfect, beautiful thing. I'm gonna take a quick break. We come back, we'll add the liquids. <laughs> so now we're, we're working on our beef pot pie. Your veggies have sweat. Now you're gonna sprinkle in some flour, a few tablespoons of flour. We're cooking our veggies in a combination of butter and a little bit of olive oil. Sprinkle in your flour. Give that a toss to coat. That's gonna help thicken up our gravy. And the gravy's got everything in it. It's like the kitchen sink of gravies. We're going to start with about a half a cup of dry white wine. Then we're going to add apples later, so I'm putting in a little cloudy cider. Then we're gonna add a fat shot of soy or tamari and Worcestershire sauce and about two cups of beef stock. We're gonna slide the beef back in. Nest it in there. Pop this in the oven for two to two and a half hours, depends on how big you cube your chuck meat, until the meat is just about perfect, nice and tender, okay? Pop the lid on this, throw it in the oven. Then you take it out of the oven and put it into whatever casserole you wanna serve in. Use that casserole as your template to score your dough, the cheddar dough that we have, right? And then you make a little hole in the middle to vent it. Then this is important. We're gonna add our apples now. We don't want them to turn to applesauce. That's why we add them so late in the dish. And then egg wash the top. I'll show you what this beauty looks like when it comes out of the oven right after this. You know, this is almost too pretty to eat. Almost, of course, being the operative word there. But look how cute that sucker is when he comes out of the oven. Isn't he adorable? This is our cheddar crust beef pot pie with apples and parsnips and carrots and onions. It is delicious. And the gravy has so many different layers of flavor. Making the transfer. Nice! Boom.